The Pope met with dozens of pilgrims from Panama visiting him to thank him for celebrating World Youth Day in their country. La palabra gracias siempre será nuestro saludo. Gracias por haberle dado la oportunidad a este pequeño ritmo centroamericano de celebrar una jornada mundial de la juventud. Pope Francis told them he was very grateful for what he saw. He said Panama is a noble country with the nobility at the service of people. Yo quedé muy contento, Panamá. Quedé muy contento. Se respiraba normalidad, ternura. Una cosa muy bella, ¿no? Así que gracias yo a ustedes que han hecho posible todo esto. Y prepárense para la segunda, que seguramente... <laughs> Un sucesor mío convocará de aquí a 150 años, no hay problema. Muchas gracias. Y recen por mí. Bueno, ha sido un, un momento bellísimo para todos. It was a beautiful moment for all of us who participated. We came with great enthusiasm to see him, to thank him for the beautiful day he gave us in January. Nos volvió a decir que somos un pueblo... He told us again that we're a kind, happy, noble people. That big word really describes us because we're a welcoming people. I brought this special magazine we made for the day. We made two very good magazines. El Papa ha señalado y ha reiterado. The Pope has indicated and reiterated he loved being in Panama. He felt our tenderness, and as a woman, I really appreciate it. We came out confident in the Lord that we have a task to do after World Youth Day. We have to take advantage of it so more young people recognize their life project, be it a priest, a nun, a layperson, or a joyful spouse in marriage. We want to help them make a good decision. The ambassadors of Central America also participated in the meeting, as World Youth Day was an event for the entire region. Before saying goodbye, the Pope wanted to pray with them. Llena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita te eres en todas las mujeres. Y bendito es el fruto de tu Then he gave them a blessing to bring back to all the Central Americans. El Padre, y el Hijo, y el Espíritu Santo.